This video will explore all the functions on the DeeperQuest Bait Boat Remote Controller. First, let's explore the buttons and light indications. To power on the remote controller, click the side button on the left. To navigate the bait boat, simply use the joystick in the middle. Buttons on each side of the joystick open left and right hoppers, while the button below the joystick opens the rig hopper. After a hopper opens, all LED lights on the remote controller will flash green. Button A on the left side of the remote controller switches the navigation lights on and off, while button B opens all three hoppers at once. There are four LED light indicators on the remote controller. The lower left LED light indicates when the bait boat is ready to be used in autopilot mode and notifies when autopilot is functioning or in recovery mode. The upper left indicator monitors the connection status between the remote controller and the bait boat. Two LEDs on the right represent the battery status for the bait boat and the remote controller. Since many other functions can be accessed via the Fish Deeper app, the remote controller can be connected to a phone holder included in the kit. Simply place the remote controller onto the phone holder's magnetic lock and insert your phone into the phone holder by pushing the top of the holder forward. It provides a portable one-hand solution to accessing live sonar data, depth maps and specialized functions at the same time while controlling your bait boat. The remote controller also comes with the provided lanyard for those situations when you need both hands free. The DeeperQuest bait boat has an integrated USB-A charging port located under the right side panel. To access it, simply loosen the screws at its ends, then connect your remote controller via the port on its backside. Ready to embark on your next carp quest?